This, however, I am super excited about. This is so awesome. Okay, so it looks like a, maybe like a Greek couple cameo. Uh, not like a carved shell or anything, but this is a mesh wrap cufflink. Okay, what are you? Ooh, okay, he's gonna be a yes. <laughs> Look at him. <gasps> he's amazing. Okay, so he's a dimensional brooch. Man. But trifar crown trifari pieces that look like this can go for a lot of money. But, okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I saw and I paid for these so fast, you guys. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and as you guys know, this is a reselling channel. Specifically, we do a lot of jewelry, vintage jewelry on this channel, and today we have a Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxing. It is a mystery unboxing. You can bid for these jewelry boxes on auction um, on the Shop Goodwill website. And I actually won two boxes from Hawaii so that I can save shipping. So um, this video should be coming up out either Christmas Eve or Christmas. So I also want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. And if it is Christmas Day, make sure that you are posting all your Christmas and holiday bling on the Facebook group just to share it with us. I might create a post and you guys can go ahead on over there and share with us. Love seeing all that. And I'm really excited um, to get into this box. I believe it's around five pounds and I will put what I paid up on the screen. And yeah, let's get into this box. All right, you guys, here is the box that we're going to be unboxing today. Um, I actually ordered two boxes from Hawaii. Uh, just to sh save on some shipping, I decided to bid and win two of the um, jewelry lots. So these have been, I don't know, maybe like two weeks sitting in my work area, so I don't even remember <laughs> what the pictures are. So, as always, you guys, make sure you have your yes bin, which is going to be my white bin here. This is going to act as my maybe bin, and I'm also having a craft lot bin. Okay, so this came in a bag. Um, I'm seeing some like more modern jewelry. I will put what I paid for it up on the screen and I'm hoping that there's some good vintage in here, but we will have fun nonetheless. So, all right, let's move you guys back a little bit. There we go. All right, here is the pile. Oh, I am not, okay, I'm seeing some things, but I'm also seeing some things that I'm not too excited about. This, however, I am super excited about. This is so awesome. Okay, so it looks like a, maybe like a Greek couple cameo. Uh, not like a carved shell or anything, but this is a mesh wrap cufflink right here. This sometimes can say something like swank, but if it, it doesn't, that is fine with me. Okay, so it does say Dante, so that's a, better uh, men's jewelry and accessories brand. Sometimes it will just be marked with a D, but this one says Dante. So I really hope that I can find the other cuff link. Yay, so that one is awesome. This one looks like a Cato. Let's see, nope, fashion jewelry, okay. We have like a porcelain Jessica. Um, and just like stretch bracelet. This is, I'm going to put in the no. Um, maybe, I mean, if somebody really wants it, they can message me and I can sell it to you. But yeah, Jessica, some of these are like frosted glass and some of them are plastic. So it's just a stacking bracelet. I'm going to put it in the maybe for now because I'm probably going to like package it up and, um, maybe put it in my antique booth when I have it or something. So yeah. All right. We have seed bead braided purple wrap 
bracelet, there is no, there's no hook. What is happening? So somebody made this, okay, but do they just pull this on? That is so weird. We're going to put this in craft because I don't want to, maybe I'll put it in the maybe. I might sell it in like, you know, an antique booth or something because it is really pretty. And if somebody can fit this over their hand and want to buy it for like a dollar or something, I don't know. I mean, it's still wearable. So usually I'll put wearable stuff there. So I'll just put it in my maybe for now, but that is not exciting <laughs> at all. All right, what is this? I don't think I've ever gotten a box from Hawaii before. So, yeah, interesting. I tend to buy jewelry closer to me. Um, I'm actually picking up some jewelry this weekend from Appleton. All right. So I do see some verdigris right there, but I mean, if this is a nicer brand, maybe I can clean it up. We have some jump rings that are, have some wear, but this is a heavier piece and it, it does look very, um, runway and high end. So let's see. It is L with a shell and then an S. No idea. So, I mean, this isn't, if, if this was in really great shape, like it didn't have that little bit of verdigris on a couple of the pieces, I would say yes, just because of the style. Um, but because I would have to clean it up, I'm going to look, try to look up the brand first or take a Google Lens picture to see if anything comes up. And yeah, so maybe. All right, we don't have any yeses so far. So let's pull out this guy. What are you? Ooh, okay, he's gonna be a yes. <laughs> Look at him. <gasps> he's amazing. Okay, so he's a dimensional brooch. Man, he looks very like art museum. I forget what those horse horses are called. I picked up an MCM horse thing um, from a thrift store once and it turned out to be something really good. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen, but uh, this kind of reminds me of that. He kind of looks maybe brass. There's no marks that I can see, but look at how awesome he is. He has to be something. He is absolutely fantastic. He kind of has a seahorse head. <laughs> Okay, we love him. He is so cool. Okay, that is so, so, so neat. Yes. Okay, we have one. We have one yes. All right, we have an earring. Are you marked? No, but if I do find the match, I think I will sell it. I've been doing well with unmarked gold tone, like 80s into 90s earrings. For, I sell them for like $14.99 on a regular basis, so there's that. All right, we have stretch. I do not like stretch. This has wear. This is going right into craft. Okay. This is plastic. This almost feels like it was like 3D printed. Like it's like lightweight plastic. It's a cuff that looks kind of like sponge coral or bone structure. <laughs> if you zoom in, I don't know. What am I looking at here? Uh, it's not telling me. I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, this is very gaudy. Okay, we have some eyes. And it is marked. What are you marked? Vanessa... Vanessa... I cannot read. R... something. This is, does not feel like quality. If it's like some like hot, trendy, uh, thing maybe, I don't, I don't know. This is weird. 
I mean, because it does look hand embroidered. This is this is just weird. Okay, we're gonna put that in maybe. It doesn't bring me joy though, so I mean, maybe somebody else would love that. Really hope to find that cufflink. Ooh, we found the earring. Here we go. So we have our second thing going into the yes. Not a super wow thing, but yeah. All right. What goes around comes around, and it goes around. All right, so it says JKC. Did somebody carve this? It says Jessica K. Cushman. I have no idea. It's just a plastic bangle. But, you guys, sometimes, like, jewelry that might look like junk could be, like, a band collector jewelry piece from like 1990 something and can go for a lot of money. That has happened to me like twice <laughs> where something has been like sold at a concert tour and has been important. So this is something I'm going to look into and we'll see how that does. Okay. We have this very worn stretch. This is just going into like garbage. Like, I don't even think that's worth crafting, to be honest. <laughs> what are you? Hello, Clip-On. Hello. Wow. Okay. I'm looking for the figure eight puddling. I don't see it, but this is a massive Clip-On ear climber. Good dimension. Good height. Fantastic. Missing rhinestones, but I can replace those. It's like missing every other rhinestone right there. I really hope we find the match to that. Hopefully. Okay. We have a ring. BFF. That is... We're just not gonna... That's going to craft or whatever. Garbage. Something. Okay. This actually feels like it has a good weight to it. So we have gunmetal gray, silver tone, and gold tone. Little like crystals on the bottom. Yeah, I would sell this if I can find the mate to that. Okay, this is a bit of a heavier chain. Oh, it's a St. John. What? Score. Okay, wow. And it's very trendy. This is a score. Yay. <laughs> I'm happy about this. And it feels very high quality, you guys. Can you just hear it? You can just hear it. Yay. So not only can you feel the quality, but it's marked in two different areas on the clasp and the tag. Yay. Okay. That one was really good. Okay. A lot of this isn't look is not a... Uh, a lot of this is not jumping out at me as being awesome. Uh, what does this say? Stainless steel I renew. I don't know what that means. Is that the contact solution? <laughs> I don't know. I'll look, at, look, look into that later. What is this box? Okay. We have designer eyewear chain. Okay. That might go into that like antique booth rummaging lot this is this is a hot mess yeah no um no this is so worn and chipped let's see if you were anything so we do have the vintage clasp don't see any mark and yeah not well made this is a no Oh, a cufflink. Very Art Deco looking. Has a blue sapphire colored rhinestone. And are you marked? Oh, this one's also a Dante. Okay. Hopefully we find that one. Okay. This is not a huge lot, you guys. Okay, this ring is very brassy coming through so you see like there's like no silver tone left that is horrible but 
I don't know. We'll see if that's anything. Maybe I can harvest the rhinestone or something. Ooh, roses. What are these roses? They're velveteen. Ooh, very gothic. Goth. Um, and yeah, it's on a fabric thing. Um, I mean, it's fuzzy. It's not in terrible shape. And again, it is very like deep red goth look, especially with the uh, adjustable fabric. You can totally make it into a choker. And it's cheap though, but it, I'll probably like put that in the wearable um, stuff, but not stuff that I'm going to be putting online. Okay, what are, what is this? What is this? What, what, what? Well, it's too small to be a cuff, that's for sure. Is this a napkin ring? <laughs> Alright, let's see if it's magnetic. Oh yes it is. So that is just, I'm not even sure because it's soldered together. I have no idea. Probably a napkin ring. Ooh, here's a little locket. Sorry guys, I just, I just bonked the camera. Let's get this out. I mean, it's on a lobster claw clasp, but it is, does it open? I think that's the fun thing is whenever we see puffy um, jewelry like this we like want it to open does it does it no it doesn't this one I'm gonna put in the maybe there's no makers mark eh. not that exciting All right, we have this earring that looks carnelian it does so I'll put that to the side for testing I'm pretty sure that's carnelian Okay, Ooh, what is this? This is a ring. A bow ring. It's tangled in this little chain. Okay. Let's see. I mean, cute for the holidays. It goes over multiple fingers. It's adjustable very lightweight though so I don't know this is probably going in the maybe courage and it's on a fabric thing what in the world that's weird two lobster claw clasps connecting I don't know maybe this is handmade this is gonna be a no oh this this uh, memory wire thing it's just so yucky. Okay, this is a no. <laughs> this is a kid's bracelet. Ooh, I do like this. However, look at this. Isn't, oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. That's like a deep garnet color. Might not be showing up on the screen, but this is very Art Nouveau look. Not gold. You can see the post is silver, so most likely not a gold piece but that is very pretty oh look what I see oh yes I'm so happy we have a match these are another score I'm really excited about these yay okay I'm happy about that yeah there's gonna be a lot of pieces that are gonna be a no but I am getting some pieces that are exciting and a yes so all right what are you this one is broken, maybe, yes? Okay, so it looks like, how was this fastened? This might have gone on here somehow. There is gunk on here. Is there a maker's mark? There is, oh, it's Erica Lyons. The E of the L. That's an okay brand. It's not... Wow. Looks like this is how it came undone. Something like that. I'm going to put in the maybe. We'll see if that can be repaired. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Look at this little holiday 
wreath crystally thing. It's a brooch. I love brooches. If I could have all brooches and earrings, I think I would be happy. <laughs> because they're so easy to list. Love the vintage stuff. This is nice. Okay. I like that one. This one is going to be a yes. And I see a ring that is an adjustable. It looks dirty. Uh, this one's going into craft. Someone can do something with that. All right. I had this one come out. I don't see any mark. And it's very minimalist. I don't know. Maybe turquoise beads? I'm not sure. I don't know. This one's going to be a maybe. If it was marked something, then I probably would sell it. Um, okay. Oh, this root, root, root 21, big chunky thing. Not only does it not bring me joy, <laughs> but it's tangled in everything. And it is so gaudy. I mean, I'm a maximalist, but this is just, this is cheap gaudiness. Okay, and it's broken, so that makes my decision super easy for this thing. There we go. It is broken. That would be craft for somebody to craft with. Ooh, Serafina will love these. She is really into learning about gemstones. And um, she's my stepdaughter, if you don't know, but she came up to me with a broken bracelet that she had and she was like, can you tell me what this is and this is and this is? And I was really happy to show her. So it looks like we have some rock quartz. We have some sodalite, carnelian, I think amethyst, lapis lazuli, carnelian, um, possibly a Garnet, Malachite, um, that looks, I know, the yellow I think is just agate, I'm thinking. Yeah, so those are, oh, and there's an amethyst right here, the purple. So I think I will give this to her, she would really like that. Okay, a little bracelet that is just going into craft. What is happening here? Chain. Okay. Is this vintage? What are you? I see a hang tag. Hmm. The hang tag says nothing. <laughs> oh, and there's an earring stuck in there. Let's take that out. I mean, I do like this. It has like a swirl enamel and this like antiqued gold tone wood pendant. It looks very feminine. I do like the look of this. Kind of like, I don't know. There's a lot of things going for this. So it's interesting. I think I will sell that one. That one is interesting enough for me. Okay. Um, this one is broken. It, the lobster claw clasp is open and it has all these keys and leaves and charms. I mean, this would be really nice for crafting, to be honest. I like the colors together. Okay. have this earring that actually looks really nice. Looks like onyx, maybe gold filled, maybe. I don't know. We'll see if there's the match to that one. This one is terrible. <laughs> it's wearing and very lightweight. And this one, it does hang nice. Kind of boho. There's that. We'll see if there is the match to that one. We have a Philippines thing. Um, lapel pin. I'll probably just put that with the pin lot. 
Okay, we have another <laughs> one of these giant ring things. And it's probably from a keychain. Wow, okay. Let's get you out of there. Oh, maybe an ornament? Okay. Yeah, interesting. So this might have been an ornament. My girls probably would love that. Okay, so this one might have been like an Etsy um, store find. I've purchased things like this for like my wedding party where you can personalize things or your flower girls or whatever. So it is broken. It says live the life you love. It has some charms. I mean the charms and things like that is very great for crafting. So we're going to put that in to craft. Okay. We have this is broken. There's a lot broken here. And they're plastic. Um, hey, well, at least we got a couple good things. We have this brassy, bronzy tone necklace. Eh, it feels kind of Forever 21. Missing a clasp. That's just no. Oh, please be a chain belt. Please be a chain belt. <laughs> I love my chain belts. You guys know. Because I see this, like, dangle thing on the end. So, oh, 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 what are you? What are you? What? What? Not a chain belt. Sad. Okay. Oh, but it was J. Crew. Oh, can we fix it? We probably can. We probably can. So, there we go. Uh, there is some wear, though. <laughs> there, you see that wear? I don't know. We'll put this in the maybe. We'll see. So we've been having a rough day, <laughs> rough day, rough night over at the Dement household. Um, my kids have been like totally fine, like happy all day, no fevers. But then at night and sometimes during the day, they have been puking. Oh, you guys, it's been a, been a day. So this is actually fantastic. I love this and it probably is sterling, honestly. So this is, again, oh, I love this pearl. And this is the kind of pearl where they stick the shape inside the oyster, like a square rectangle, to make this shape. Oh, oh, we see 925. Yay! This, this is most likely a sterling silver earring. I hope we find the match to this. Yay, that would be a score. Please, please be in here. We need some matches. Okay, this is pretty. I do like that. I like this uh, really bright blue. I don't know, it's kind of like a um, fired crystal, faceted crystal. That is really pretty. I love that blue color. So, we are going... Um, when I'm going to be editing this video, I will probably, we're probably going to be uh, out of town picking up the Goodwill lot, uh, jewelry and things like that in Appleton. We love going to the museum there. This one actually could possibly be sterling silver because look at the small detail etching on these little tiny, tiny beads. So the thing with black, it could be black glass or it could be black onyx. It's really hard for me to tell, honestly. But that those tiny etchings on the little beads totally make me think that these are sterling silver. So we can test that. Okay, we have this necklace that is New York and Company. See the NY right there. It is just multi-strand. Um silver tone. What are these called? This type of chain. Is it a ball chain? I don't remember. <laughs> That's not a Rolo chain. I can't remember what it is. But it's in really great shape. 
think I would sell this. I think that this would be uh, still very trendy now. Not to say that I'm a trendy person, but I kind of pay attention. <gasps> this is so sad. It looks like a turquoise chip butterfly that's totally broken. So, I mean, if it's sterling silver, I can scrap it, but it's not showing me anything. Let's see. My magnet. Yeah, it's magnet, magnetic, so that will be garbage. Okay, what is this? We have a little black cat and a ghost. This is plastic. This will probably be in like a wearable lot, but probably not um, going online. Please be more earrings in here. I really want matches to those earrings. I really, really do. Or the cufflink. Maybe it will be in the other box because I'm going to be opening the other box soon. Oh, here's an earring. Oh, here's earrings that go together. They hook them together. All right, so there is some wear. It's like a light peachy color lever back. Mm, mm, maybe. There is quite a bit of maybe in this box, that's for sure. Uh, this one is broken. We have a bajillion bangles that don't look like they don't look like sterling or anything so we're probably just gonna get them out of here I mean unless it's like a, an Alexis guitar or something so wouldn't it be fun I know some people wear asymmetrical earrings now so they like complement each other but they're different I am not quite there yet on my journey of wearing jewelry. What are these? These are, these were probably sewn on one of those wedding pillows as like a ring symbolizing things. <laughs> so, no. What is this? Okay, we have a wrap bracelet. Is it leather? Mm, mm, I'm not seeing any marks or anything. I mean, it's very nice, like unisex and wearable, but probably not enough to put online. Okay, this looks like someone made a magnet out of this. So, craft. We have a tiny glass... What is this? <laughs> what are we looking at here? What am I looking at? Is this a fly? Is it a whale's tail? <laughs> is it a flower that goes that way? What are we looking at here? Oh, I have no idea. That's probably going to go in a pendant lot. That's funny. It is glass though. Let's see. Do a little shake. That seems to like sometimes get things out. Um, Alright, well this is one of those like thread wrapped beads, but these get so dingy so fast. So, and they don't sell well, so I'm, I'm not gonna sell that one. I do like them, however. Then we have whatever this is. I don't even see if it's a broken thing. What are you? What could you be? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, craft. Bangle. All right, let's get this one out. I do like these. These look very comfortable. Again, seed bead. But again, these don't really sell well online. They probably do better you know, like a yard sale or, again, the antique store. Okay, what are you? This looks like a charm. It's hanging down 
from something. Ooh, look at this delicate, delicate, delicate thing. Look at how pretty. I don't think that this is, oh, what is going on here? I don't think that, I'm so confused. How does this, did someone just make this? I am really confused now. Okay. How, okay, this is probably going into craft. Um, I don't think it's pearl. It feels too lightweight. But that was so pretty. And I, I don't think that this is how it's supposed to go. I'm not sure, but yeah, that one's a no. Okay, here's an earring and eh, it's black enamel on the bottom. That one, we'll just wait for a mate. We'll see if a mate is there. And this is very dingy and feels terrible. Okay. Is there anything in here that looks like it's worth rescuing? I don't see any of the earrings that I want. There's a key on like a copper chain. It says the giving keys. That might have been for a charity or something. The giving keys. Uh -huh. And then this one says Selah. Interesting. So maybe a charity event. Maybe. Um, we have, oh, what is this? Little necklace tangled up in here. I'm just seeing if there's any hang tags because a lot of these could be just like icing, Forever 21, stuff like that. All right. So I might just, um, just untangle this and most likely like I don't see anything even if it's like small and dainty tangled I don't see anything else in here but I'm gonna save the earrings over there just in case in the next box we do have a match that happens sometimes um, but in the meantime I'm gonna set this aside I want to show you guys some aw something awesome that I got from Salvation Army. Move all the jewelry crumbs over. Okay. Uh, these are some bolos. Some be on the look at for jewelry pieces. So I was at the Salvation Army and I found these pieces and I was really happy about them. So pull them over. I did find other pieces but they're already listed. I've been waiting to list these to show you guys. So the this is a brooch that I did pay $3.99 for and it was damaged so I will show you the damage but I did pick it up anyways because it is uh trifari with a crown on it let me get this off let's see oh <laughs> Okay, Rachel, there we go. All right, so it says right there. The Trifari with the T over it. You can see that. And then this front has these really beautiful, glistening, sapphire color rhinestones so it was missing this rhinestone here and you might be able to tell the difference I did put this one in from my craft or my my rhinestone harvested rhinestones you can't really tell the difference I will have to disclose that obviously but trifar crown trifari pieces that look like this can go for a lot of money um, this one actually kind of looks like it matches this one. So some of the rhinestones are not completely all the same color. So I think 
I, it can uh, get away with with that replacement that I had. I mean, it was a good size and it was a vintage rhinestone. So, but the rest of it is just in excellent condition. I mean, looks like brand new. <laughs> and so for it being, what, 70 years old, this is fantastic. So this is what high quality vintage costume jewelry looks like. So that one is going into my yes, obviously. The, I, I bought that one. All right, this was $3.99. I could tell, I mean, you could just tell that it is uh, a sterling silver piece. It feels very tarnished. This is like kind of like a liquid silver beaded necklace. Most likely a Native American piece. Reason I say that is because of the findings, handmade findings, and then there's like an etched sun on the end of these cones. And the cones are very reminiscent of the ends of bolo ties, the southwestern <coughs> Native American bolo ties. So a lot of these elements are like uh, telling me that it's, you know, sterling silver, you know, Native American or Southwestern, maybe Mexican, I don't know, piece, but without testing it, that's why I picked this up. I did come home, test it, and it is sterling. So for $3.99, that was a wonderful score. I'm saving these for the end. Okay, here's another one. So these totally look like genuine pearls. They're imperfect, high luster, really heavy weight. You can even hear these are glass. They are, however, by the brand Les Bernard. So that is a very high-end vintage brand. So not sure where that came from. Uh, paid $6.99 for these and that was another, this is another score. Love finding these vintage pieces. Oh, and the surprise with this piece is that has a hidden clasp in that little uh, faux pearl. The hand knotting in between is not, you know, bright like it once was, but this is still a really nice vintage designer named piece, so I'm really happy with that one. And then speaking of designer pieces, I... I picked these out from behind the glass case because I've been doing well with gold tone, clip-on, puffier type of earrings. So I picked these up. I wanted to see if they were anything, and I think they were $2.99 or $3.99, and I probably would have paid that much anyways because I, if like with it being a rose and gold tone, like a rich gold tone, I'm thinking like maybe like between 18 and $20 uh, without a name brand. But, okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I saw and I paid for these so fast, you guys. Um, do you guys see that right here by my thumb? It says YSL and then right by my other thumb, it says made in France. <laughs> guys just do a quick google search on um ysl made in france clip-on earrings some of them can be like six hundred dollars insane <laughs> so these are going to be going for at least a couple hundred dollars at least uh and they are in excellent shape they're roses so many good things about this i was so excited so uh, so the, most of the workers who work at the Salvation Army don't speak English and some of them, um, can, can kind of speak English. So I thought that the, <laughs> the lady could speak more English than I think she could because I was like, do you know what these are? She's like, yeah, they're cute. And I was like, these are YSL. And she's like, oh, they're cute. And I said, no, they're, they're designer. <laughs> they're Yves Saint Laurent. And, and she's like, that's cute. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I don't think she knows what I'm, I'm actually saying. Um, and maybe that was a good thing because I mean, I got them for a really good price. So I was really happy with that. So anyways, I'm going to, um, 
untangle this and then I'm going to unbox the next box video with you guys. So yeah, make sure if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and you will uh, oh hit the bell notification so you don't miss out any, on any of the unboxings, the sales, the shop with me's and any updates that happen with the channel. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.